Hey, what's up everybody? This is Scott with I Compete. Today I'm going to do a leg video, um, run you through everything that I like to do for legs, um, especially my warm up, which don't even count for sets and reps. So we're going to be doing feet placement, the angles, uh, certain exercises for certain parts of the leg. And I hope y'all get some good information out of this video. So let's go. All right, so what I always do first to warm up my knees and warm up my quads, I always do leg extensions first. This first set, we've done about 50. Second set, we'll probably do 40, 30, 20, and then I'll probably do a drop set after that. I do get a lot, a lot of blood into my quads before I even start, before I even go warming up on the leg curls. I like to have my knees completely warmed up, so that way, less chance of injury and less chance of me pulling something. So whenever I do leg extensions to warm up or for sets, the way I position the seat and the way I position the leg piece at the end is really so to try to maximize, make it feel on the teardrop, which is that part of your leg right there. For me, that's the part that once it gets warmed up, uh, it feels better to me. My entire leg feels better. It actually warms up the entire quad, but I try to really make it emphasize on that. And that goes by the seat adjustment. So if you pull the seat forward a little bit, you want to make sure that this part is at the back and then where your knees are right there, and then that goes to your back. You can do it leaning back and it'll hit a little higher, but if you come forward a little bit, it's going to go lower in your leg and you're going to be able to hit that teardrop right there. All right, so the second thing we're doing, we're gonna do leg curls um, on this. Same thing, I like to have my knees a little bit coming off of this a little bit, so that way I can curl it all the way back and really feel, really feel the squeeze in my hamstring. Don't use much weight. Same thing here, except we're doing 40, 30, 20, 10. And like I said, these are just warm ups. This don't even count as sets. And then after this, we're gonna jump over to leg press and get started on it. Okay, so we're warming up on leg extensions, leg curls. Now we're coming over to the leg press. Um, on the leg press, this is starting out. I normally do about another warm-up set, set of 10, make sure everything's good and warm before I actually put the weight on and start my first set today. If we're going really high reps. So it's probably gonna be 40, 30, 20, 10. And this this coming up set will actually be, be our first set. Like I said, we don't count the warm-up. Also too, um, I'm placing my feet about middle range today. The higher you go, works the back. The lower you go, it's working the front. So we're going about mid range today in the middle. So that way we're getting, trying to get quad and hamstring and a little bit of glute activation in the entire thing. So I'm not actually specifically training one side or the other today. This is why I don't do cardio on leg day, especially when it's a high rep day, because it just takes the wind out of me. It don't matter if I'm doing cardio every day or I ain't done cardio in a month. It just absolutely wins me. So I don't do cardio on leg day.
Okay, so we just finished up the leg press and now we're going to squats. On squats, I'm just gonna do sets of five because uh, everything's gonna feel stupid heavy. I'll start with two plates and then we'll go up. It may be three sets, it may be four sets. Uh, just play it by, by feel. As long as we're targeting and activating everything we're supposed to in the legs, that's exactly what we want. We don't wanna go too heavy here because we just don't wanna be moving the weight. Again, we're trying to train the legs and train the muscle. Okay, sorry for the heavy breathing, y'all. We just finished up the last set of leg extensions, but a little, little rundown. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10 leg extensions, 40, 30, 20, 10 leg curls, 40, 30, 20, 10 leg press, three sets of five, uh, 235, 325, and uh, 415, the bar is 55 pound squat bar. And uh, then we done. Started at 90s, done set of 10 to 15 each set each plate, and then went up until we just couldn't do anymore. So I know this leg workout seems very very simple. It seems very basic. It don't seem like you're doing that much as far as exercises go. But I promise you, if you do warm up like we did, you do the sets and reps that we did. Not even the weight, just the sets and reps. I promise you, your legs will grow, and you'll you'll know you've done something because they'll be tired and sore the next few days pretty bad. So all this, like I said, it's not to move weight. Again, is to train the muscle because what we're wanting here, we're wanting muscle growth. We're wanting to change how we look. We're wanting to add muscle and we want to change how we feel. So the cardiovascular point of doing all this, I don't do cardio on leg days because it wins me. And as you can tell, it's hard for me to breathe. So my heart rate is through the roof and it pretty much stays that way through the entire workout. So while we're doing it, we're also burning calories and hopefully burning some fat too. So. I hope y'all got a bunch of information out of this video. Y'all please like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Y'all click the little bell so that way y'all don't miss another video. And thanks for tuning in. Y'all get powerful, stay powerful. We'll see you at work. See you in the next video.